Hello, this is Edwin Dearborn, another edition of Caffeinated Content. Yes, we talk about great business ideas over that hot cup of coffee. And today I want to talk about podcasting. In fact, I'm going to probably do several uh, more in the future of Caffeinated Content on podcasting for a number of reasons. And I won't go into all those reasons right now, but I believe that podcasting is important. A, it's a great way to repurpose your content that you're doing on video or blogging. And number two, with voice search becoming so strong these days, voice activated search, you're gonna wanna have voice-based content. So that would be videos, podcasts, and you're gonna wanna have those on your websites or any of your social feeds because that voice activated search engines are gonna look for voice-based content. So why not have content that you can take and put onto a podcast? Now, I believe that probably your best foray into this is to use anchor.fm and just begin using, this is what I'm doing, I just started with anchor.fm, I repurposed caffeinated content, you've probably seen some of my podcasts in the feed, and the great benefit about Anchor.fm is that it will actually help you populate other podcast sites. I'm now on like nine other podcast sites like Google, Apple, etc. Number two, it's easy because I can use my iPhone as the source of actually creating the podcast. So, you know, yes, eventually I'll probably get better equipment and I'll get a studio and but I, you know, kind of my brand is that on the fly kind of feel, you know, showing up at the coffee shops and having random people walk by and noise. And that I, I kind of wanted that Anthony Bourdain feel in caffeinated content where I'm traveling around and it's real life and it's not scripted. And, and you kind of travel along with me as I talk about business, about marketing, about branding and down the road even starting to interview more people. Well, why not take that audio content, take those storylines, and also populate podcasts where now people can find you in additional places. They can listen to you while they're at the computer or exercising or on the road, traveling at the airport. I believe podcasting is an important element, but I also believe that you shouldn't complicate it when you begin with podcasting. Make it simple, use a simple platform, and then as you become more comfortable with it, as you begin to you know, get more traction, then yeah, elevate your game. But I'm much of a much believer in the lean startup concept of the MVP, the minimal viable product. And I think Anchor.fm is your MVP, your minimal viable product, to begin podcasting right now, to play with it, to start seeing what type of interactions you can get and kind of starting to feel your way around about how you want to brand your podcast. So, you know, just because you start out one way doesn't mean that it'll end up another way. You can redesign it, rebrand it, uh, come out with new content, but I believe going out into the foray, actually engaging with audience is a great way to just begin and I think anchor.fm is a great place for you to start. This is where I began, it's easy for me, and yes, one day I'll elevate it, but I love the fact that I can A, be on the fly and create podcasts wherever I am, I'm at and number two it helps populate my podcast across multiple platforms if you have any questions about how to storyboard your content or how to get your content going or you know should you be doing podcasting or video or both or you know what what's my overall strategy what's my content marketing strategy reach out to me get my book power branding secrets I go over in detail how to create a strategy in that book for your brand a personalized effective strategy that you can actually deploy. All right, well this is Edwin Dearborn, author of Power Branding Secrets. You make it a great day, bye-bye.